Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Not Quite Homesteading. Today we're in the garden. We're going to do another Harvest and Preserve series episode. And today we are going to be picking peppers. I'm going to be making a stuffed pepper freezer meal. And I think that's going to be a great way to preserve the actual peppers that we're harvesting during this part of the season. So let's go ahead and get picking so that we can get these peppers made and frozen. So I have a nice sized um, pepper here. I'm actually gonna pull this one. And then I'm gonna pair these with some of the peppers I already have inside so that we can utilize those as well. Please don't break it. I pulled off the whole stem. I don't know what's gonna happen to that plant, but. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we have a big mushroom in this bed. It's quite a few, actually. I'm wondering if that means I don't need to water. So I have some really like nice looking green bell peppers under there, but I'm gonna leave those because there is some that I need to pull from this side. Oh, why are they so hard to pull off today? So not super big, but I do like that it's changing colors and at least that that pepper will be somewhat sweet. And this is a recipe I probably will either use as a side or for lunch because the peppers are not that big, but also um, I just don't want to have like a ton of it sitting around but it does give me an opportunity to make sure that we have a prepared meal, but also that we're using some of our peppers fresh and that they're not going to waste. So I went ahead and pulled about four. So let's go ahead and get these made. This recipe is so easy guys. I'm not going to talk much through this part, but I will let you know that I will leave this down in the description box below if you want to give it a try. I simply added my cream cheese, my seasoning blend, the artichoke, and some Parmesan, and then I stuffed it inside the peppers. And that was really the extent of it. This helped me just use up some things that I needed to use up in my refrigerator and to set myself up for success with cooking at some point in the future.
that's all friends I'm just going to wrap this up write the instructions on how to cook it and seal it tightly with some plastic wrap and throw it in the freezer that way it'll be ready for an easy meal one day that I don't feel like cooking I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me in the garden and in the kitchen today. As always, I appreciate having you guys here. Don't forget to check out our affiliate links in the description box. Let's keep learning, sewing, and growing together, friends. Until our next garden update. Bye.